Hello, everybody. It's Chris here. We're back to play the long dark. This, uh, this may be one of the last, not the last times we play. Um, maybe this, maybe this character. Maybe we'll switch to another character. We're about to climb the mountain. So here we go. Uh, Spent the night in this nice little, quite snug area. We've woken up to a pretty dreary morning. And I think, um, I think before I stopped last time. Hi, hey, Sean. What's up? How's it going? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, so it's it's been a uh, what do I say? So I think I think we drew and we found this cave. Um, so we'll have to look for that. Uh, I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Um, I'm pretty excited to finally figure out uh, our way up this mountain. This is, I think, essentially the last place uh, that we have to go. We've been everywhere. Um, I don't want to walk around with it as uh, dreary as it is. So I think I'll take a little nap. Hopefully the weather will clear up and we can find this cave. Okay, well, didn't work. I don't want to wait too long because the weather could get even worse. Okay, so let's see. So, if I remember right, we went up here, we went down here, we couldn't see anything. Um, killed a wolf, and that's what we ate last night, I think. Or maybe we couldn't find the wolf. The game is going great. Uh, we, this is the same character that I started on months ago. And we're still alive. Ah, see that? That's, um, that's that climbing rope. So if we go down, that's the sort of the area. <clears throat> it's hard to describe. It's the area we left the other sleeping bag. Speaking of sleeping bag. Okay, I picked it up. Alright, I can't remember exactly what happened last time, because... I think a wolf attacked us. We have wolf meat. But that can't be the whole wolf. We already did it, Jean! You, you missed it. Uh, we spent two or three, maybe three or four uh, streams in the new map. Explored the whole thing from top to bottom. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's got some really pretty caves. And pretty challenging terrain. Um, but, <clears throat> I don't know, on the whole, it's not that bad. There's so many caves that you can stay in. We had a couple of close brushes where 
we got caught out in a storm. But, um, but we kept some wood and managed to managed to stick it out to survive. I don't see where the, the cave is. I don't really understand this map. Oh shit. We're about to have a storm, I think. We're about to have a nasty little storm. Luckily, we have the perfect place picked out. I think we'll just stay here for a bit and see how the weather goes. Um, tried the map. Went to town late. In the forge. Before you went there, survived eight and days on it. Cool. Yeah, we... I mean, we went there with all of... Uh, you know everything. Like, we have good gear and stuff. Um, pretty, pretty darn good gear, actually. We've, we've been really lucky finding stuff like these uh, little underwear, climbing socks, and stuff like that. Um, we even found a moose-eyed satchel in the Hush, Hush River Valley. Um, I don't want to venture out on this mountain in this storm. Let's give it another hour to see if it turns into a full-blown blizzard. Kind of looks like it. the same same situation yeah the blizzards are what kill you that's for sure uh, I think at this point we have enough clothes to face three or four wolves but uh, getting caught out in a blizzard is suicide. Yeah, it just ends here. Let's try drawing. So there's a cave, but I just can't find it. It could be below us. Could be... Could be on the other side. Well, it's not below us, because we've actually been down there. Alright, the wind stopped. Alright, I feel a little emboldened. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the... We've looked up at this. Oh, the Challenge Blizzard. Oh, I haven't tried that one. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do some challenges after this... Uh, after we retire this person. Have you been to Timberwolf Mountain? Because it's just gorgeous. There's a perfect place to to live. It's got all the wildlife, um, fishing, rabbits, deer, wolves, bear, probably moose too.
All right, the weather's gotten really good. So let's... Let's go over here and draw this. And then we'll try to find that. Well, I have to say, I'm not sure what to make of this. Maybe this is a different area. I'm not really sure now. But we don't have a rope, so we can't go down. I'm not going to jump. Uh, it's, it's, it seems quite likely that, well, it seems plausible that uh, we might be able to get down there but not get up. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to recover from a, a moose, moose attack. That's pretty, that's pretty unlucky for five minutes. Uh, I, honestly, I'd be scared of a moose even now. We've had some... We've had some scary scares. <clears throat> we found those areas. But I uh, haven't actually seen one yet. It's a hundred and... hundred and seventy-five days and we still haven't seen a moose. Uh, we kind of need food. I thought we'd find that um, wolf. Yeah. And uh, I think when you're trampled, your carry weight's reduced, right? Pretty rough situation. It's a nice, pretty little area. Um, our goal is to get to the top of this, but I don't see why we shouldn't look around first. I really want to find some some food. Oh, we've got a cargo container. I thought this looked weird. So, all right, here's the, here's the thing. We, we may actually break our saw. I don't, I don't have a, a pry bar, which is going to suck because it means we come all the way up here and we don't actually get stuff. All simple tools. No, 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 no. All simple tools. Hold on, let's see. So I need a piece of metal. I can spend an hour harvesting this for metal, and then I'm not even sure if I could repair it. Um Because the last time I did it said it needed quality tools. But I, in my head, I don't think you need quality tools. So I'm going to I'm gonna this is kind of stupid, but I'm going to harvest this with three metal. So 
so that I can. Yes. Prepare this. So that took uh, took almost two hours. We're at fifty six percent, so there's don't there's no chance of breaking. Um, that worked out really well. That worked that worked out really well. I I was I was prepared just to not be able to open these, but this is good. Boy, we've been lucky. Rabbit pelt and leather. Lots and lots of leather. Lots of deer, too. Um, it's actually getting late. We haven't done anything except for walked over to here. I kind of want to shoot at this deer. There's, there's uh, crows up on the mountain there. Alright. I'm gonna risk it. Because I, I don't like this angle. Maybe, maybe I should get a better angle. Because I want to make sure that if I miss, I can get the arrow back. That looks better. Hit it into that bank. He's kind of turned funny. I feel like I might have shot him in the neck. Uh, let's hope he... Okay, I was going to say, let's hope he runs to the left. Into that valley, but no, he's... He's run to the right, into God knows what. Um, and I believe he has my arrow. So the deer can get hung up on the rocks and stuff sometimes. You can't get to them. Hey, Sam Cam, what's up, man? We just shot a deer and we are chasing it down. Oh, there's some blood. Oh, good, this connects. So, uh, it's probably him running, because why else would the deer be running? Oh, they're all running. Um, try to follow the blood. How hard do I find it to kill bears? Um, I've only ever done it with a rifle. Um, we've done it twice in this playthrough, and I've done it uh, a few times off stream. I usually shoot him in the head and then try to run for safety. Um, I think I think I'd be I'd be pretty desperate to shoot a bear without having some place to retreat to safely. Hey, we've got a place to sleep for the night. Um, this is perfect. Let's let's go ahead and put some stuff down to lose some weight. And uh, we found these in a cargo container. Drop those. I'll 
those are not that heavy, but I'll drop those too. Nope, we just started, Sam Camp. Haven't got to the top. Um, my plan is, of course, to to go, uh, but we need a little food. So I decided to hunt this deer. Now, if I were a better shot, we wouldn't have to chase him down. I can't, I don't see the blood now. Hey, pal. What's up, guys? Yeah. So now this fellow has my arrow. And I don't really know which one it is. Uh, there's two up there. Shit. Weather's well, starting to turn south. Oh, there's some blood. There's some blood. There's some blood. Might as well kill them all. <laughs> then I'll be down three three arrows, or well, probably more. I feel like you're dying of heat stroke. Are you uh, are you not air conditioned? Never used a bow. The bow's the bow's a little trickier. But it's actually not that bad. So um, you have a reticle when you're not pulled back. and But when you pull back, it goes away. But left to right, it pretty much goes where the arrow points. And then you just have to account for how far it drops. It drops more than the rifle, but it, it doesn't really drop a whole lot. So, that deer is still running. I think, it's, pro it's probably one of those two. That one's, that one's alive. They're all alive. Let's chase them back this way. Let's come around here. I want them to come into this valley instead of run away from the... Uh, statistically speaking. Well, there's other there's other deer. There's actually... I think there's four total. Alright, Sean. Thanks for dropping by. Have a good dinner. Boy, it is. I feel like it's just gonna start storming at any second. It's gray. Was it over here? I wish I knew what happened to that wolf that attacked us when we quit last time. There's the deer. Um, the nice thing about the bow compared to the gun, in addition to it being lighter, of course, is that uh, animals bleed out much faster. Um, the gun, you're more likely, that's, that's not the deer, but that may be the wolf. That's the wolf that we're looking for. Okay, well, you know, 
It's me. Just saying. I think I'm gonna head back to the cave. Thinks this doesn't look good. Uh, that may not be the deer, but it's still true. The shooting them with the bow makes animals bleed out faster. And that was our wolf because the wolves that you find. Uh, randomly don't have all the meat on them. Uh, yeah, so the new patch for oxygen is... No, 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 go the other way. What's... I wanted to see if he had my arrow, but I, I couldn't see it. There's a new beta version. Ah ha 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 ha! Arrow. 18 pounds of meat. This is. It's too much meat. So, what was the sand? The, there's a new beta patch. And it starts Thursday. My goodness, let, let, let me get a sentence out, please, game. Um, Thursday or Friday. So after the patch hits, I'll probably uh, I'll probably start that uh, that day or the following day. Um, I'm hoping I'm hoping it comes out tomorrow, but it's probably going to be Friday. Also. Where's the cave? That's not it. That's it. Is it? Yeah. Hopefully Friday. Okay, let's cook up some of this meat. Um. I found out something about caves, and we sort of figured it out ourselves, but there's two, two parts to a cave. There's the cold front and then the, the warm back. Um, and it's just like a binary thing, like it stops and... Uh, it comes warm at some point. Let's go ahead and... So we'll, I'll, I'll do the, So the reason I'm doing it in the front part and this is really gamey, but, you know, at this point, I feel like I should start taking advantage of stuff about the game. Fires burn longer in the front part of the cave, I think, because there's some bonus to create, putting fires outside, and the front part of the cave is counted as outside, so... All right. Go ahead. Get some meat. I'll move all this stuff. Double fire. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm trying to think if I want to cook it all. But uh, I, think, I think so. I'm not, at this point, I'm here to kick wolves' ass, Sids. Ass. Each wolf has an ass. 
And for each wolf, there will be an asker. So uh, I'll just carry around whatever I don't eat. Of course, we do have to worry about weight. All right, very nice. Nice and cozy. I'm going to survive another day here. Um, I'm going to drop the two small pieces over here. We'll cook those last. Since they're small, should probably make a little bit of water. So, okay. Kind of nice. I, I didn't think we'd get through this all, but it looks like we've explored this part of the valley. So we came, uh, let's see, so from the front of the cave. I think we arrived from straight left. We've seen all this. We could continue to go right where we uh, found the wolf's body. But I think, what I, I think what I'll do is I'll look and see how to start going up the mountain. My guess is we have to go that way. Um, there doesn't seem to be any way up except for that. If that makes sense. And uh, let's see, while that's going, while that's going, I'll sharpen up this this thing, because um, we we really lucked out, and we found tools in this last cargo container, so I can actually repair this. Um, kind of amazing how lucky we were to find the hacksaw to begin with and then to find tools. But it's been quite a blessed run. Perfect, perfect. And this, I think this is the last piece of metal. That said raw, didn't it? switch to one fire now that we've got most of this cooked. I'll let that go out and uh, we'll add to this one. Okay, so hour, something like 30 minutes.
in the interest of weight, I'm going to have to get rid of something. Game sort of hung up there. Okay, there we go. another T probably we're gonna twist her ankle a couple of times going up this stupid now what else can we do what else can we draw I might wind up dropping one of these tools or actually turning it into metal. Let's, uh, let's sharpen the ax. Oh. Enough for now. Yeah, I don't know. I, I might. Let's see. These are so light, but we just don't need them. Like, I think at this point we'll run out of bullets before we run out of guns. Yeah, theoretically. Um, it's pretty out of the way. But um, but you're right. I think it, it does make sense to leave stuff. I'll just have to figure out how to prioritize. I think I'll take I'll take those tools apart. Uh, last piece of meat. I actually thought we'd have over a gallon. Do some repairs with our for our mitts. So let's see, put some more sticks in. Oh yeah, that's repair. Oh, we don't have cured gut. Ah, why do we have that sucks? That sucks. 
I didn't even take gut off the corpses. We could have put them in the cave to dry, but... Crap. All right, I'm dropping most of the clothes. Let's, uh... This feels so ostentatious, but I'm going to harvest this. Might as well make some water with the rest of the fire. Oh, oh, we're dog tired. Can repair these boots an hour and seven minutes. I think that's going to run out the water. Let's let's try it. It boiled off. Not not a big deal. Not a big. Deal. I don't think we're going to boil that though. fire for emergency. Reclaimed wood and cedar have the most burn time per um, weight, per kilogram, whatever, pound. Um, they're actually tied, so it's the same. I think they might be different when it comes to heat, but um, Usually a fire is enough to keep me warm with all these clothes. <clears throat> all right. All right. I think, think we're uh, more than ready for this <clears throat> final ascent. Tons of food, water, healthy. We repaired most of our clothes. Uh, still need to drop some more stuff. Maybe that that's meat. <clears throat> uh, certainly water. see exactly where we are. So this is yet another cave. So we still haven't figured out how to get to this cave. I guess we have to have a rope. So we're trying to get here. Probably more like here. I don't think we're going to use up all of these, so let's drop some of them. Uh, we have so many of these things. I'm going to drop some of these. Let's just keep one so that I don't feel too bad. Um, these pelts are useless without 
gut, so let's drop most of those. That puts us at 91, which is still really heavy. So I'm going to leave some of the meat in here. Actually, we'll leave it out uh, in the snow. So did we eat all the... That's pretty good. Oh, we have to pick up the sleeping bag. I always forget the sleeping bag. It's not bad. And um, maybe we'll come back on the way down. Eighty three is so heavy. <clears throat> Don't even. It's, it's this thing. It's probably saved our lives, but damn, it's heavy. All right, back out on the road, so to speak. Uh, as long as the... As long as this wind doesn't turn into a hurricane. I mean, uh blizzard. So this is the mountain. We just need to find a way up. Which is what I keep saying. Uh, but we're a whole lot closer than we were yesterday. Yeah, just that's just what I thought. So I don't I don't think we can climb that. We'll have to keep going around. This mountain is uh is not easily climbable. You have to keep going in circles to find the next passage up. I think that's enough to work. There's our wolf from last night. It's a shame. It's a shame I didn't uh, grab his gut and leave that in the cave. I think what I'll do is grab the gut. Just to put the gut down. So that when the even though the corpse is going to despawn, the gut will still be there. A little bit worried about the weather.
maybe maybe this. So either that or keep going around. Uh, it's a good place for a blizzard right here. Which, I, you know, it's like handmade. You know they did that. Somebody said, oh, we need to put in a place to be safe every uh, 100 feet. Oh, look at this. Is that a cargo container? Oh, it's a rock. Just a rock. Oh shit, what do we got here but a wolf? No. It went it went just to the right of him. Broke the arrow. So five arrows. All right, let's take a peek around this corner. All right, yeah, it's climbing. That's probably the right way to go. But I want to see what's in this little nook and cranny, because if, maybe if you weren't looking carefully, you could miss it. And, uh... Wolf will be waiting for us. Dead. Maybe nothing. Or maybe something. Oh, it's a whole little place up here. Yeah, I know. They're so... The walls are so neat. Like, I have no sympathy for the wolves. They are they're not trying to protect their families. They're not trying to feed their children. They're just intent on malice. Does this just connect around? <laughs> uh, my mother's one of the wolves. Um, I think this just connects around. So that's that's our target. Don't lose. Don't. Um, what do they say? Eyes on the prize. Mr. Deer here. It's pretty tough going. The wind is very strong. Now, this whole time I'm thinking we can always go back to that little nook. Nook we found. Oh, but there's a rope climb. Uh, well, I tell you one thing. I, I feel like we're on the right track. Like, 
they're just not making this easy. I'm just taking a look over here to see if uh, I see anything. All right, so there's our wolf. I, I don't, I don't think we need him. Oops, I didn't mean to draw. Him. This is going to last us a while, and then we've got this, and we've got the crackers. So I'm just going to keep going. Oh, we have to get underweight to climb the rope. I wonder how good this would be against a blizzard. Maybe put the fire in here. Good gracious. It's a little risky climbing with the weather threatening like this, because if we get up there, it might just be flat and there's nowhere to hide. But probably not. If you could set off forest fires. It, I think it would be interesting. I, I actually like, I like the idea. Um, the irrational part of my brain can't help but think you can't have a fire when it's cold. Jeez, San Rican. Not even, not even thinking. Obviously, fires aren't cold. Tuh. All right, we have to drop at least four pounds worth and sleep a little per der. A forest cold fire. We did two of these. All the while I'm getting uh, getting wet. Which actually makes your clothes heavier. I really want to climb up today. To do so, to do so means I need to sleep. Let's see if we can sneak. That's, that's not what I want. Let's see if we can sneak this thing in here. Okay, no. Take two. It's not a bad place to put a fire if there's wind. But I need to get my max weight up to 77 just because I'm super too much of a pack rat. Oh dear. You can't be attacked while you're sleeping, as far as I know. My goodness, it's uh, it's very pretty. But uh, I don't think I want to deal with enraged animals. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to climb up there because there could be like a bear 
and I don't want to meet a Aurora Bear. So I'm going to just sleep some more. The snow stopped, but I don't think I'm going to dry off. I think I need to be in front of a fire. Shit, still going. I think our wolf friend has passed on. Or no, maybe that's the deer corpse that we're here. Uh, all the food and drink is going to make us lighter. Guess that's the bright side. All right. This is this is a uh, blizzard, and it's blowing from the bad direction. Good thing is that the aurora's done. I'm gonna head to this little tree, uh, which is at least in the right direction. We're still still losing temperature. Could make a fire. Hopefully, not block myself in. It's too hard to see. Let's just forget the tree. Guess it's not a blizzard since the wind's not. I don't. I don't know if a blizzard's even like a concept in this game. Like if if that's an actual thing. Um, I say. That's a wolf. That's a live wolf. He's right there. He's got glowing eyes. So, he had glowing eyes, which happens during the Aurora, but the Aurora's done, I guess it's just a graphical thing. Uh, where did he come from? So, I could shoot him. But if I don't kill him, I'm not going out there to get my arrow back. Probably just gonna keep coming. So, obviously, I don't need more weight, but uh, why waste a good fire? I'll drop it by the rope, have it way back down. So, eventually what's going to happen is this thing is going to blow out because the wind shifts and then this wolf's going to attack us. Could take a torch. Try to scare him further away. If you throw a torch and it hits him, you should be able to set him on fire. Because I think you can do that with a flare gun.
Okay, that didn't, uh, didn't work how I intended it. Dude, it's just gonna keep coming back. You don't think fur burns well? Really? I feel like it's like fluffy and it's like it's like burning a teddy bear, you know? Those things burn really well. I guess what's happening is he smells the meat, so he keeps coming back. Um, I'll drop this just at my feet. I don't, strangely enough, I don't think he can smell it at that point. Um, and maybe he'll wander off in the other direction before, before too long. Don't want to use up all my cedar. be surprised if live animals were flammable. I mean, surely it would be a liability to be to be flammable. But I feel like like human hair burns really well, you know? Maybe it doesn't ignite. I guess that's the difference. It doesn't turn into like a live flame, maybe. I I don't know. I don't know. Uh Thinking about the... It used to be a big thing when I was a kid. I don't... Oh, I've got more meat. Um, was people talking about spontaneous combustion? And... All sorts of nonsense about it. That's, uh, that it happens really frequently. And uh, cover-ups... Um, telekinetic powers, government programs, and stuff um, in the National Enquirer. Uh, I'm pretty sure as kids we tried to set stuff on fire with our minds. Uh, pyrokinesis, I guess. I guess, I don't know, maybe that's what you call it? I don't know. Is that sad? Quantum physics, it's always happening, so you're currently combusting. Um, I, I think Mr. Wolf left. I have the bag. Oh, I don't have the meat. Um. All right, so then I'll drop. Let's just let's make another pile for when we come back down. Uh, this is probably going to be. It's probably. It's not a great idea. But this is what I'm doing. And we're going to. Go. 
in the middle of the dark, middle of the night. Can't even see the road. Oh, no, 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 down, down, down. I need to reju uh, rejuvenate. Let's try again. Close. Should be waiting for more, but I'm, I'm weighing the risk of that wolf having to deal with the wolf. Secluded shelf. You know, I wouldn't even be surprised at this point. Um, so, yeah, I think this was before you came, but uh, we were in Pleasant Valley, and there's a there's a rope climb to to this tower. Uh, it's like radio tower. And we were just being accosted by wolves trying to get to this thing. We finally got to it, and I hate climbing ropes because it's... I usually don't carry around a sleeping bag. At least I did before I realized how important it was. Anyway, we get to the rope, and I just casually remark, well, at least the wolves can't get us here. And... Uh, you know, joking that wolves can't climb the rope. When we got up to the top, there was a wolf at the rock. I mean, next to it, right there, and immediately attacked us. Um, this, this game is punishing sometimes. Look at this. If we had gone up a little earlier, we might have found this cave. Oh. Oh, it's indoor cave. Is that... Let's see if we can... Mark it. It's just this. Let's take a look before we go in. This is horrifying. You know what? I bet you could actually get back down here. All right. Not, not a whole lot out here. Um, but I feel pretty safe here. I feel like there's no wildlife. I'm going to go ahead and I don't really like fur, but uh, I'll grab this fur and then we'll head inside the cave. Series of unfortunate events. I haven't read it. Well, I used a grappling hook to grab my tower. She gets the top she missed it. So, another hook. Smile the man with hooks for hands. Ooh, that's, that's terrible. All right. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, just a minute or two. I'll be right back, and then we'll see what's inside this cave. So, see you in a second.
Alright. So we've got this uh, orifice facing back at us. Uh, but you know when you gaze into the orifice, uh, the orifice gazes into you. We don't have a whole lot of fuel, but it should be enough to get us through this cave. Uh, I believe it's the full tank is 20 minutes in real time, so this is about 10 minutes in real time. Um, now coal, I actually found this out. Coal is actually the best length per pound, but you can't put it into the fire until like 20 minutes after it starts. Or something like that. Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about a series of unfortunate events. The book, uh, and I think the show as well. Alright, follow the left wall. Say it out loud, maybe I won't forget it. Tim Curry. Oh, I bet that would be. Uh, I bet that would be pretty fun. Ah, uh, shit. There's something colored over there, but there's like a passage here. Let's check out this colored thing. Is this an exit? Oh, it's snow. A oh, flare. I'll take that. More fur. Fur kind of sucks in terms of weight. I don't think I need that. Yeah, we have it at five. Um, shit. Shit, shit, shit. This opens up all sorts of crazy stuff. Or maybe it just appears to. Alright, let's go... Uh, let's go through the crawl space. Surely this won't be bad. I hope there's some fishing up here so we can get some lamp fuel. It's a promising cave. It's definitely going up. Or at least, uh... Not going down. Quickly running out of fuel, though. Uh, I think we have two flares and a half a torch, but we have so much wood we could make torches. If, if it comes to it. Okay, I like it when the passage is in because that means that I'm not missing anything. So not a huge cave, unless we missed some branch that goes off crazy. And we've still got some fuel left. We've also, we're holding about uh, two trees worth of wood. So 
so let's let's drop all the fur. Um, well, are we there yet? Oh, let's uh. Let's map. Okay, so we've made it from here to here. We, I think we want to go up here. So like behind us. There's another rope. Wait. There's a lot of ropes in this place. Where does this go? I don't want to go down, I want to go up! It looks like there's a cargo container. Oh my god, what if, what if we're not actually going to the summit? What if this has been a whole... thing? Uh... Yeah, so it looks like there's a cargo container right there. Uh, probably. Well, we'll explore up here first, and if we don't see anything, then I guess we're going down. Looks like a cargo container there, too. Is this a, is this a thing? We haven't seen the plane since we started, but I'm pretty sure the plane is up there. that water or jet blue snow? Uh, where? That's the, uh, there's a waterfall over there. So I think I can go down here. Oh, we only have two more coal, charcoal left. I think that the waterfall is here-ish. Maybe ice fishing down there? Maybe. Oh, it's a bear. Let's maybe not go down there just yet. Uh... <laughs> I, I'm not convinced we can't just go up. Give him a hug. Uh... Okay. Oh, there's lunch. All right, so here's here's more ground, right? So the cave was over there. Let's let's go this way. Um, probably that that rope that goes down probably just leads to a to a place with some goodies, right? There's uh, the crates, and it rewards you for climbing the rope. What do you got? Cedar? I'll take it. Oh! Wait. Will, 
to survive wilderness survival? What is that? Fire starting? Okay, we'll, we'll hold on to that. So this rope is interesting because there are actually places where I wish I had had a rope. Uh, okay, here's what I'll... Uh, here's what I'll do. It's So it's 11 pounds, so... You know, I don't just want to be carrying it around willy-nilly. But um, I'll put it at the entrance to this cave. And that way, if we want, we can come get it and we can't miss it. Hopefully. Maybe. I mean, maybe I should have left it where it was, but I figure the cave's easier to find since it's in the cliff face. Honestly, we could get two ropes, because if, if we don't need to go down there, we can pull that rope up. That's that's the cave, so I'm just going to drop it here. Hopefully we'll remember that. And uh, now that we've lost good visibility, let's go explore a new area. Yeah, 11 pounds is ridiculous. I mean, I get it. But also, I don't get it, because there's so few ropes in the game. I don't know. I guess the idea is they want it to be heavy enough that people don't carry it around, hoping it's going to be useful. Not that I know of. I, I don't think it's possible. The, the crafting's pretty limited in this game. They don't... Uh, they've come out and said stuff like, we don't want to make this a crafting building kind of game. Wait, is that a rope? Oh my god. We need the rope. To, to put it there. Oh, but there's one going up. So this is probably a shortcut then. And this will probably lead back to some place we've seen before. exactly where this is. So honestly, I think that leads to a place we haven't been. Oh, I bet it leads here. I bet it. I bet this is the climb up, and the climb down doesn't show because there's no rope, uh, rope, rope on it. So I bet this goes down to this place with the deer, the deer clearing. Um. All right. We'll 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 go get the rope once we want to come down. I'll uh. I'll just go up now. If we can, we might have to take a little nap. We're sure gonna have to drop some.
Maybe we'll get better weather. Or maybe we'll get worse weather. Yeah, it takes five hours, though, at least. Um, I, I do want to, but I want to get up this rope first. Before, uh, before nighttime. Let's... I could do one of these little dudes. That's, that's not quite enough. I'm so... It's micro-optimizations, but... Like, I should just drop another piece of wood. Oh, shit. There goes the weather. Alright. We've got, uh... Half of our strength remaining. This is this is kind of crazy. I hope this is a ledge because otherwise we are going to fall. So we've got about ten percent. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness gracious! Uh, I think the way it works is once you get tired, there's, um, there's probability of falling and it goes up and up and up and up. So I think there was a non-zero chance we could have fallen right there. Whew. In my head, I was thinking, if I can't grab this ledge, I'm going to go and I'm gonna try to... Get the stem. Luckily, we didn't have to. But I do have to sleep here. Man, I kicked her ass. This ledge is really exposed. Uh, like, even if we have the stuff to make a fire, if the wind is coming from this direction, we are screwed if we get a blizzard. Yeah, I'm not going up any further. Oh, speaking of blizzard, 14 plus 18, it's barely above uh, the threshold there. I'm going to try to make a fire in this corner. I hope I'm not standing on it. Yeah, it's the, the wind is coming from a bad direction. Oh man, it keeps switching around. Okay. Alright, we've got an hour ten. Perfect. And then, uh... 
Waste not, want not. We have to sleep. Come on. We have to get our rest up so that we can finish this climb. Jesus Christ. Oh God, okay. Uh... So I'm thinking we might be stuck on this ledge for a little longer than is ideal. So I might as well prepare. goes the last of the meat. Okay, I think the weather calmed down. Is there anything else kind of makes sense to do? Don't need any repairs. We read the book. What is that? Point four, point six. All right. Um, I'm gonna do one more. Then we're gonna sleep. I uh, just to at least get over halfway, make the final climb, and find a cave or something to probably waste tomorrow. I don't know. I, I have a feeling this is the top. Who knows? I don't know how many ropes we've climbed up at this point. All right, that should be, that's more than enough. Pick up, pick up. The weather's gotten better, so I'm gonna let the fire run out. I hope that's not a bad idea. Need to kill another animal family. I, I, I still have the uh, Jesus Christ I still have the uh, cattails yeah this has got to be the summit um, this weather sucks we're gonna be soaked We 
actually we're not. How are we not wet? Oh, we're starting to get wet, but very little. Are we somehow sheltered from the from the snow here? I didn't even think that was a thing. Okay, still getting wet. Snow's better. It's about one o'clock. I'm too heavy, <laughs> but not by much. So we'll drop um, drop a thing of water and call it call it good. I think we've got another ledge to the left, but I don't think we need it. Just sticks. All right, we're at about half strength. I think we're going to make it just fine. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Oh! I got an achievement for climbing to the top of Timberwolf Mountain. So, this is it, folks. Uh, I think I see the tail of the plane over there. Got some, I don't know, plain terminology. We got some tires, landing gear, I suppose. Um, I don't know if there's wildlife up here, but I think I see a cave. Sure enough. Let's, uh, let's check the cave out first, as a uh, product of evolution, I want to uh, have a place I can retreat to. Looks like... Looks like somebody's beating us here. Cedar feather. Another rope. So yeah, this is a perfect place to to hang out in case there's bad weather. Let's let's leave stuff here. We don't really have a whole lot of stuff to draw. I, I want to keep all of this because I'm a pack rat. But I can I can drop what. Well, Probably this. All right. Nice and bright. Fairly cold, though. I think it's the wind. Get the high ground here. What do we? What do we got? Quite cold. The 
this is not a small plane. This, I thought this was going to be like one of those little, um, what do they call them? Something hoppers, pond hoppers or something. This is, uh, this looks like a big plane. Is it safe? I hear creaking, creaking metal. Let's see if we can get a view of our little cottage. There it is. Actually, you can't, you can barely see it. Right there. And there's our dock. So we, <laughs> we finally made it up here. Uh, honestly, I have to say, I thought it was going to be easier to get up here. This, this really is kind of, uh, kind of a trek. All right, let's see what goodies we've got. Probably a bunch of spoiled uh, cans of dog food or something. Oh dear. Half expecting to see a moose just waiting for us. Are all of these openable? Pretty much won the game. Yeah, I think so. Hats and underwear. So let's see, two of those. So each one is five percent. So we're gonna be we're gonna be just fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten MREs. Holy shit. Holy shit. They don't degrade. It's like a day's worth of food. Alright, water's not really impressive considering that we can, uh, we can make as much water as we want. Oh, they left a hacksaw just in case you didn't have anything. That's sweet. How sweet. Developers are so kind. Um, honestly, I thought I thought there was going to be a bear in the plane. I think that would have been funny. You know. You finally made it, it's epic, you get an achievement, and then this bear comes out of the plane and attacks you. Oh yeah, that's that would be cool too if the plane falls down. Alright, this one contains a hacksaw, hatchet, hammer, knife, hammer, hacksaw, hatchet, hatchet, hammer, knife. Whew. It's a shame you can't throw these hammers down the mountain. <laughs> All right, pelts of all kinds. Give me some, well, I was hoping it would give me some cured. Oh, I can't even move. So I'm so heavy, I can't, I can't move. I think we can do without some of this water. Um, and I think we only need one hammer. Yeah, why, why did they give you all this loot? Since you very much won the game, I guess if you chose to start here, because you can choose to start wherever, this might be an interesting place to start because it'd be really hard. But if you bring all this stuff down, you know, you'd be in a really good position. I, I, that might kind of ruin it because then you don't scrape, scrimp and save, you know. I, I can't carry all this stuff. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave all these hatchets. Um, I'm going to take... Sh 
shittiest hacksaw. Um, just to open these things, and then we'll probably... We might leave them all, I don't know. Plank wood. Just a shirt. I think this has a flare gun, so this is guaranteed uh, flare gun. Oh, I love this case. What have we got in here? A whole rifle, two rifles, three rifles, four rifles. Um, okay. Can't move. Clearly, we're not carrying these rifles down. Time to ditch the bow. <sighs> um, I wonder if we if we take the expressway. Oh shit! Speaking of expressway, there's a body. Can we actually get to him, or is that just an Easter egg? No. Once you die, it uh, deletes everything. So there's a dude. There's a dude, and he's got something. Hold on, let's see if this zooms in. Barely. Maybe that's a boot? I don't know what that is. I don't really want to jump down after him. Because... I kind of, it kind of seems like you can't get back up. I mean, maybe you could climb this, but also maybe not. He's just going to have to stay there. Yeah, it would be, I kind of do want to see what it, what it would be like falling down. I think you can't jump. So I think you just hit the rocks pretty quickly. We, we'd have to find a, a ledge. But uh, but I, I don't think I want to do that. I think, I think what I want to do is make it back to the cabin and uh, live out my days in peace. You can't jump. Nope. There's a there's a mod. Somebody made a mod that lets you jump, but you can't you can't in the vanilla game. Hey, I think this is really good. Expedition Perka, this is better than the wolf code. Expedition Parka, I'm pretty sure, is the best. Uh, code in the game when you talk about warmth to weight a lot of this we already have but so let's see let's patch this up So, all right, it's three pounds, and it's got 7.2.
Now this is a little bit worn, so it would be better otherwise, but it's 6.6 .6 and it's plus 6. Uh, let's see, this is a little bit more waterproof and quite a bit more protection. But in terms of weather, I mean in terms of uh, weight, have anything to eat. Jeez, I, I don't want to waste these. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to waste these. Uh, these MREs. All right, we're going to have to leave so much cool stuff here. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just... I, I have half a mind to leave the wolf coat here. We can't we can't get down the we can't get down the rope. We can't get down the rope until we get under 70, and we were at 70 coming up. I'm not really sure. How to deal with that. Yeah, true. I mean, if we have to leave one, I'd choose to leave the the wolf coat. But uh, it does have high protection. All right, hold on. Let's see. Um, Let's see, fish. Let's take a look at the fisherman's sweater. How do you, what, what am I doing? All right. So this, so far, this is the best sweater we found. Uh, two point two pounds and four point four. So it's two degrees per pound. This is more than two degrees. It's like two and a half degrees per pound. Um, unless I'm doing the math wrong there. This is two point, this is uh, a hair over two. And more than a hair over two. So I think these are, these are better than anything we have. Let me know if I did that math wrong. So I'm going to leave all this um, all this year. I'm just, I'm really just trying to get back to the cave. We'll spend the night and I'll repair some of the other stuff. Take a gun back and get the bear. Uh, I mean, it would it would just be a waste. It would just be a waste. Uh, it's like fifty pounds of meat that I can't. I mean, I could eat, but I'd have to stay here to do it. The, the real question is, is, what do I do? And I, I feel like what I want to do is get back to the cabin, and then we say that's where that's where the character retires. I mean, maybe I play it again later, but I like the idea of retiring in that cabin. That's kind of my goal. So we have to get back down from the mountain. Uh, what can we carry? down the mountain? I'm not sure yet. But I think I think we don't need any of this. I hate uh, hate putting this away, but I think I think the sweaters that we have are better. Can you have multiple saves at a time? I don't know. Maybe. I think it used to be that you couldn't, but I kind of think they added it. I'm actually not sure.
surely what I could do though is grab the save files, move them somewhere else, and then um, you know swap them back if I wanted to. All right, we can move. We can move now. So I'm gonna grab the best hacksaw and. Some water. Now I think we've picked up, we have in our possession pretty much everything we would want. Um, I mean we have so many hatchets and so many whatnots. I think this is pretty much it. There's another, there's another container. I missed a whole container. And I also messed up the good hacksaw. Okay, coffee and tea. That's pretty light. Okay, peanut butter and crackers. Mm. Now we're heavy again. Did I? Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't even search all the containers. This is more than I expected up here. I thought it was going to be just like two crates or something, but... Quality tools? Holy shit! Uh, okay, let's get, okay, this is the heaviest one. So if we deconstruct this, we should fill that one up. takes an hour. I hope we can see. Oh, it just gave us fuel. Oh yeah, so it used to be that you, it didn't give you fuel. You had to have a container, otherwise it would waste it. But now it gives you fuel, so... Um... Okay, so we've got a full lantern, and then, Jesus Christ, I'm going to put these knives in here. We don't need all three quality tools. can't walk. Could just sleep here in the plane. Also, I don't know if I've searched everything. Okay, got that one. I think I... the sodas aren't very important. I'm just going to drink them, get the weight away. It wastes the water, but so what? <clears throat> Times like this, when we have 300 pounds to carry down a mountain, uh, you can afford to be pretty wasteful. Can you imagine just downing like 20 sodas? I feel like you'd explode. Okay. All right, I think this is where we're gonna stay for the night. This plane seems nice and cozy.
retire up here? Yeah, I feel like that's copping out. It's not a... Like that cabin's got fishing, deer, rabbits. The cabin is the bomb, uh, as the kids say. There's maybe there's some wildlife up here, but can't even walk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I have have a plan. I have a plan. We're gonna spend a day in the cave preparing for the for the way down. Uh, and I'll drop what what I need to drop what I need to drop. And then pick up all the things we left along the way for us to pick up. Uh so that one rope climb should save us some some effort. But actually it, it just means another rope climb. An entire stream dedicated to deciding what to bring. I, I hope it's not going to be that bad. It should only take a couple minutes. <clears throat> going down is going to be a lot faster than going up. Gotta get her. Yeah. All right. Empty, empty, empty. Searched. All right. So I'm gonna take one more pass through. We've got the good lantern. All this is redundant, right? Search, search. Uh, searched. And then this has tools in it, I think. So let's see. One more little pass through. I think we. The, the, the gun is like nine pounds. So. Um, and we have. I, I don't know. We have so many guns. I feel like the only thing I want guns for is shooting bears. Lots of nice wood. Oh, shit. I was wondering, I heard crows last night. And I was like, huh, didn't see anything coming in. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> After looting all those crates, I mean, I've got pretty high expectations. Curious to take a look over there. Oh, there's another corpse. All right, we'll 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 take a look around. I, I'm gonna get to the cave. That's where I'm gonna put stuff. Yeah, it looks. I hate to think that they designed it so that you would go, oh. Let me search that corpse, and you go down there and you get stuck. I hate to think that. But 
it seems possible. Uh, it certainly doesn't look like you can get back up. The angle is too steep and it... I, I don't know. Of course. Come on, come on, come on. All right, Samer Cam, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, I'm glad you got to see the summit. Uh, it's been three streams in the main. Have a nice time. major downside of this expedition park uh, is uh, is that it actually protects you less against wolves. But Yeah, so if I wanted to go really heavy, I could do that. That's actually only an extra pound with three more. That's not the direction I wanted this to go in, but this makes a lot of sense. So it's pretty much the same story for the pants. This is uh, more protective, but I could put two of these on and be warmer. And, and a lot lighter. That's kind of a shame. All right, we can make another coat when we get down the mountain. So this coat has served us well. Uh, we built this over a month ago. Many, many streams. Okay. This is uh, this is impossible. I feel like we have to find a way to slide down the mountain. Peanut butter kind of sucks from a weight to calorie ratio, if I remember right. All right, same thing with the pants. I hate, I hate to do it. But thank you, pants. You did well. So that's like an extra six pounds. Um, I'm saving this for the crates that are nearby.
We can walk pretty decently now. It's a shame we didn't find the, the light sitting back. I might drop that too. And we don't have gut, so I can't repair these. But what I could do is wear the mittens, the wool, the wool mittens, and then drop these too. All right, well, I was going to repair the pants, but uh, actually that needed uh, sinew, whatever, gut, so we'll drop all of these hides. Honestly, I think it's looking, it's looking possible now, especially if we move quick. All right, uh, before we finish deciding, I'm gonna... Wait, why am I so cold? We've got on like the best clothes. A 50 degree warmth bumps, and I'm still cold. What a complainer, huh? Kinda just hoping there's no animals. see anything that's a shame uh, so the, the only thing that I saw is that there's a corpse on one of these rocks over here um, I want to check that out and then Maybe this area over here it looks.
wrong rock. I wonder if maybe the summit is just naturally cold. To because it's up so high. Whether the game has a concept of altitude in general. Kind of seems like it sometimes. Uh, knife? I mean, I appreciate the thought. Alright, last thing to do then is check this out. There might be a rock climbing area that is the best way down or something. I don't know. Looks like another viewpoint. Could be something over here. So these new clothes don't have as good uh, waterproofness. Is that a wing or a box? I think it's a, it's a piece of metal. Just got real cold. Could could be something over there. I don't know. Not gonna worry too much about it. the rest of the day to finish getting ready. Hopefully we'll warm up in the back of this cave. Dropped a bunch of stuff. Take that climbing thing. Let's see here. Let's see here. Great time to repair all the stuff. You don't have to carry the cloth back down. 
we get to take advantage of it. Being nice and warm. Sure, why not? All right, that's all of the cloth that we were holding, but I'm kind of amazed we haven't leveled up. Fire starting's very close. Um, Oh good, I even get partial MREs back. Okay. So, if I just kind of go down, just zoom, just straight down, uh, I can drop a lot of stuff, like water and stuff. But then when something like this happens... It might get sketchy. All right, we have we have extra wool tubes. Um, I, I feel bad about this, but I think we're going to need every every pound. Honestly, we don't need food. I mean, we can get food anywhere. Like maybe it's better to carry the the clothes, the spare clothes. Not bad, I mean, 10 pounds away. 
And I'm thinking I drop the hacksaw and we don't go to that crate. And we're, and we're really close. So now at this point, like I don't need all this water, the wood that I'm carrying, <clears throat> certainly not this metal. Oh yeah, do we have some fur? Oh, come on. Oh, come on, where was all of my fur? I guess, I guess we just, uh, we didn't carry any up the mountain. We dropped it at some point, I remember, but I don't know where. Uh, I was going to repair the hammer. So... Uh, don't need the storm lantern. It's four pounds. It's tough. It's tough figuring out what to bring because it's like I could do without the storm ladder. Um, I could do without the flare, but the flare saves you from the moose. It's not that heavy. Like it's so many things. That's kind of the fun of the game, but it's frustrating too. You don't need anything. Looks like that might be an autobar. So 
so we're definitely underweight. Is there anything else I want to pick up? I have a couple of pounds. Fully rested, and it's just about dawn. Oh, yeah. The bear. So, so actually. I don't. Um, I'm not under. I'm over. Wish we'd gotten more painkillers and less antibiotics. It's kind of interesting. They put all this stuff up here, but the rope climb to get here is incredibly strenuous. Uh, really don't want you taking stuff out. I've never in my life used a distress pistol. I wonder if it works against enemies in the Aurora. My goodness, I thought we had it, I thought we had it, then I had to pick up that sleeping bag. Um, Just barely. Probably could pick some more stuff up, but this is it's close enough that uh, you know. walk down this. I 
I think we can walk down this. Oh, that kind of changes everything. Shame that the stuff didn't dry. I don't want to take too much. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, makes sense, right? It's fine. Oh, I'm, I'm doing all the work. I just did. Um, most of this weight is in the rope. And I'm carrying it only because it might be a, a way to go down faster. But then again, if it's a rope, you have to climb it, drop stuff. So probably that's kind of stupid. Yeah, this is built. This is built for going down. Absolutely. Notice that in a lot of areas they have places where it's a one way. So is this is this deer? Here, let's uh that's where I brought this. Okay, so we're heading over here. It's sort of above deer clearing, but it was walkable from deer clearing. We're not out of the woods yet. This this may be a a death march. It's getting pretty steep. It's getting really steep. Like, worryingly steep. Um, so we've got the rocky path on the left, or the rocky path on the right. Now, I feel like we've made a mistake. I feel like we're a mountain goat, just holding on to something that we shouldn't be. We're getting there. Oh, we slid. Oh, we slid just a little bit there. What did I sprain? My wrist? I think it makes sense to wait until we get to the bottom. Too. Oh yeah. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. 
So you could you could carry a lot of stuff just by walking. This skips. This skips like a cave. It skips two two climbs. I believe. All right. So we're going to head to too heavy to run. We're going to head to to that cave we spent the night in. If I can find it. I think it's I think it's to the right. I think this is where the wolf well, not here exactly, but Not 100% sure, but I think if we follow this wall, it should lead to the deer cave. We've been here too. That was a nice little area, the deer valley. Oh, that's oh, that's the turn back. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. So this this way to the deer. Still cold. Fifty-four degrees bonus, and it's still cold. Jesus. There's a place to use this rope, too. Uh, we'll see if we can't slide down instead of climb down. But if we ever want to come back up, that'll be a shortcut. So. Aha, this is the wolf. This is where we're going to turn our ankle. All I can say is I'm glad I'm wrong. Is it below me? I think I'm. I think I might be on top of the cave. Oh, what's up here? One of our dear friends. Your brother is very tasty. Thank you. We ate. We ate all of them. Don't usually do that, but. That's how it tastes. Where's the cave? Come on.
I'm hoping this fur here. It, it's not a big deal, it's just... I just remember dropping so much fur. Sweaters. Mind if I do. Okay, charcoal and bullets. And clean the cat. Alright, well that's As long as I'm still mobile. Actually, just to warm up, what can I do? Let's go back here. Just let me dry it off. I wish I had the fortitude to have gone back and put the gut in the cave to dry. All right. Um, I want to take a quick break. We're gonna we're gonna make it to our cabin. And that's gonna be end of the stream, but we're not there yet, so uh, I will see you in just a second. Hello. 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 All right. Locked. Ready. All right. Almost, almost finished warming up here. I, I'm so annoyed that I didn't, I didn't do this, but it was like, I didn't want to go back. 
you never know what's going to happen. And it's, it's maybe 10 in the morning. We're a little bit sluggish. But I think I remember where the rope goes. Let's see if we can't chase a deer in front of us just in case there's a little bit. So that's this mountain thing. There's a climb here. Wait, what? Okay. Maybe I don't remember, or maybe there's just a lot of climbs. I'm not sure if they show up if they don't have a rope. Can't remember. like the well, day has warmed up the, the air has warmed up so we're no longer freezing which makes sense it does it does seem to get warmer as the day goes on so a lot of stuff people say about how the game works that doesn't necessarily match up with uh, how it actually works but I think that's one thing people are right about So, oh, that's where we came in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. So that's where we came in, and we just happened to go left, because, of course, we were chasing the mountain, and it was dark, um, if I remember right. Now, in that vein, if I remember right, uh, there was a climb down, and I said, oh, I know where this goes. And then I got a little confused. I'm still a little confused, but I'm pretty sure that it goes to where we put the crappy sleeper pack. At that point, it's so far back, I don't even remember... I think we go through the cave or take a really long way around the canyon. Echo Valley. In order to get home. I can't quite remember. There we go. It's amazing you, what you pick up. It's, uh. Like whatever part of people's brains that does navigation works in a video game, even though you're not really walking around. But it still, it still figures it out, you know? All right. So I'm thinking this is a shortcut. Let's hope it's a shortcut up and that we can actually find a way down without, uh, having to drop 20 pounds of stuff. She, her wrists, man. Her wrists are made out of spaghetti. Like cooked spaghetti. Not even dry spaghetti. This is... This is... This has got to be a thing, right? It's, See where this goes. <laughs> um, yeah, this looks I'm 
mountain goat. Just think mountain. Goats are kind of kind of weird. They smell pretty bad. I mean, it's not their fault. They're just goats. Sleeping bag, sleeping bag, sleeping bag. I predict a sleeping bag. I really like this little place. Like, it's a cave, sure. But it's not really like any of the other caves. So I think that's this then. This is meant to be the sort of overhang. So what I think we want to do So we could either um, take this path like that or we could go into this cave. I think it comes out here and then go around. Oh, we don't want to go up there. We want to go down here. Let's see if we can figure it out. The, so the problem is we've only done this way once and not in this direction. So, it's about a 50-50 chance of getting eaten by a bear. Even after climbing down the mountain, a pack full of stuff. I am still uh, stingy enough that I'm asleep to, 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 so that I don't have to use pain relievers. So we saved, we saved uh, One pill. A one T two pills? One pill I think. Alright. Uh yeah. I I can't remember. I can't remember how this went, but I think we wanna take the first right that we can and then come back around. I I really am not sure. Um, that's this is going to lead me to the engine, I think. We should test our lock. That strategy's worked so far, but that looks really stupid.
so what we've got is a vowel. And we want to get on the far side of the vowel, up at the top, I think. Could be going somewhere I have we've never even been before. Get to this rock and then I'll take a sketch. The safe way would have been to go through the cave because we've been that way a few times. And actually there'd be stuff to take home. Middle name is dangerous. Yeah, I, I think I think we've done this. Maybe. What is that? Well, I definitely don't remember this. Is that a cave? Let's see if we can figure out whether we've been here. So maybe, maybe we've been here. Okay, so if to the right goes back up this way, you definitely need to go left straight. Looks good. But this is the this is the litmus test. Yeah, we haven't been here. I'm also happy to miss that. Two of them? Probably not. Can hardly walk.
So, let's see. I think we need to be over there. Um, I think that's where we came the first time. Now I'm kind of curious what's up here. I, I should, really shouldn't be curious when I'm carrying 100 pounds of stuff. I should be going straight home. But... It's like a mini summit. Yeah, I need to be I need to be across. We can get down. That'd be great. Uh this doesn't Really look too safe. I can't get up. Um, I cannot climb this. Which means we have to go for Please be a thing. Again with the wrist. Hey. This is mighty chancy, but you know, I don't think it's going to kill us. <laughs> okay, she should not. She should not be able to scale that. I think. I think we're going to gonna break something. So I don't exactly know how it works, but the more you fall, the more, I guess, chance you have of uh, tearing your clothes and causing condition damage. Ooh, that was a long fall. That was a long fall. Um, and at a certain point, you can just die. I've I've definitely died before. There's also times where, and this is the worst. This should not be a thing that can happen. But the game somehow detects you're out of bounds, or out of bounds, or something, and it just kills you. It just kills you instantly. Um, I've had that happen in Milton. Oh my god, that was quite a fall. Come on. Alright. So now the question is, is it this way? I think it's here. Man, we really should have just gone to the right, huh? Because the, the engine's that way. Alright. 
Shit. I, w I, th I think we can make it home before dark. And that's why I'm not sleeping. Or uh, taking a break. I, I, I don't know where we are, but I, I know ish. I think we just turn to the right and go straight, basically. Basically, keep the ravine on our right. We should be alright. Ravine on right. B I. We have a bear. Probably not really scared, but can't run very fast. Oh, because we're getting heavier. I mean, you know, weaker. Really should have accounted for that. Um, yeah, I mean, we have to sleep. Then. We're going to be soaked. Let's try to make that turn first. Keep going, keep going there. You don't want this. Can't handle this jelly or whatever. Shit, we haven't been here. Band-aids to the left. I'm just gonna keep going. Normally, I'd be happy to find a cave. Right now, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a bear cave. Maybe we should just push through. So, we're where we want to be. Uh, to the left of the ravine, you know, looking at the mountain. But we haven't been here. There must be... Maybe we went to the right, or, or maybe there's multiple ways to get into the ravine. I'm not sure. Like... Like this. The lake should be around here, right? Oh, is that the lake? Oh, oh, it's the it's the lake. It actually worked out. That's the bear we saw then, probably, uh, when we first came came here. Boy, we're getting slow. Super, super, super slow. Let's go, let's go. Is that, is that water? Oh, it's the dock. For, for just half a second, I thought, what if this is a different lake?
Oh, wow. Uh, there and back again. A hobbit's tail. Can't even see... Can't even see the mountain from here, really. Just the foothill. We really cut this one close. If we got much wetter, I'm sure we'd be able to move. I kind of wish snow could accumulate. That it simulated that. Might even cover things up. That would be pretty cool. That's our trash. We've got high quality meat. Oh yeah, home again, home again. Chickadee John. Not sure where we're gonna put all this stuff. it up to get it off the ground. Hmm. I, I can't believe how well we've done. Uh, I, I've mentioned this before, but I, when I started this stream, I thought, okay, well, probably what's going to happen is we're going to die a bunch of times until we get lucky and find, you know, something off the off the bat. Uh, and the early this early game actually went pretty. Not very well. With uh, a bear, wolf attacks, all sorts of stuff, right off, right at the beginning. Um, and and because I thought that that you know I actually. I changed the name of the file from something like sucrose one to sucrose zero one, anticipating that there was going to be two digits worth. Of somehow, somehow, we have managed not just to stay alive, but to do better than I've ever done in any playthrough. Um, we've visited, I think, every map, and pretty thoroughly explored them. We had a couple, a couple brushes. With death. part stayed on top of the game. Oh. 
I thought you'd be able to put wood into the fire, but... I guess their amazing simulation doesn't uh, account for that. We've killed two or three bear. Maybe three, because we found two pelts. So either there was a bug or we killed another. I think I think we just killed two. Uh, never saw a moose. So I don't think there's a whole lot left in this for this playthrough. It's we've mastered we've mastered the game, and kind of the fun part is at the beginning. Um, I'll probably keep playing, but not not this save. We'll start a game with different parameters. Maybe interloper. Uh, this is stalker. Well, it's not quite stalker. We, we turned off cabin fever a couple of things, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll do interloper. Uh, where the there's no tools, except the ones you make yourself. No guns. Um, I don't think the wolves are as ridiculous, but instead the weather is worse. That sounds pretty fun to me. I think we very rarely worried about the weather in this playthrough. I mean, I worried about it constantly, but it didn't actually bother us. Except for a few surprise blizzards. Um, we mostly had the, the clothes that it took to go outside. Now, I've, I've played on custom games where I turn the weather all the way up, and even with a full set of clothes, it's very difficult to go out. It changes everything. I mean, it's, it almost makes it impossible. But it would be interesting. Speaking of bad weather. You should be able to rotate this. I wanted to put it on the mantle. Doesn't look like the mantle is a thing that wants to take stuff. Oh, this, this is a very good game. One of the best survival games. I constantly fear while playing it, and I kind of think that's the goal. I mean, that's that's what makes it good. Uh,
Honestly, I think I'll keep playing this save just uh, maybe off screen. I don't know. I, I would like to. Maybe I'll play it on screen. I guess it depends if anybody wants to see it. Um, but I'd like to get to level 5. Where is it? On these things. Um, I'm, I'm really close, and I feel like these are easy to level up. Mostly just because it's an achievement, but... the extra piece of ah. So 63. Our final weight should actually be pretty good now that we've gotten rid of the, the wolf coat. Uh, it should be much lower. Saves three pounds, and then the pants saves two, I think. Which adds up to five. feeling not much is going to change from now till when they stop working on this. But I, I guess what makes it so good is the, is the danger. But it, it would be nice to be able to change the environment more, or for the environment to change more, I think. Uh, like I was talking about earlier, snow building up, different kinds of just more interesting weather, I suppose. Coming home in the snow is it's really nice. It really felt like it was snowing. But for the fact that it didn't build up. Oh, I see. Those cans I had put on the, on the fire to just be there for a minute. Boy, I tell you one thing. If you think about all the stuff we've got in Jackrabbit Isle and all the stuff that we've got in Mystery Lake and in Milton, now here. It's hard to imagine dying. I mean, just, just here. We could, uh, we could live for quite some time. I suppose I'd either have to go get a rifle, which I don't think I have here, or we'd have to go make more arrow pits. Those, those are the dangerous times. But staying around the house? Surprise moose attack, maybe? Okay. 
I think I've dropped. I think I've dropped everything. I believe we've gone as far. We haven't run out of sewing kits. Uh, we, we were really lucky. With loot. Just that 8% condition, actually 6% condition. It's 0.3 uh, degrees. That's, that's kind of a lot. A lot of basic stuff that we're missing uh, here because there isn't housing and stuff to loot, like a large supply of cloth. Could always head up the mountain again, but it might actually be easier to head down back to Pleasant Valley. One of the writers for Rock Paper Shotgun, his name's Adam Smith. He's no longer with Rock Paper Shotgun, uh, which is a video game kind of review site. Um, he was talking about how. This game is kind of a comfort game for him, and that he keeps coming back to the same playthrough, the same saves. funny idea. I 
Because this is a survival. This is supposed to be... You against the elements and things are tough and everything's trying to kill you. But I get it. I totally get it. Uh, I can definitely imagine just kind of coming to this character and putting around for a little bit just to just to pass some time. Kind of look for some stuff to do around the house, or go out, gather some firewood. Or... Um, especially actually go out and, and hunt deer. We really only did that seriously a couple of times. Most of the times, uh, wolves were wolves were so readily available. They didn't give us the chance. Wait, was there another slot for that? the fire and uh, I think we've done pretty much all we want to do except sleep let's uh, let's take a little nap and then I think I'm gonna sign off this character may or may not be back, but uh, either way, she, this is where she retires. She's ventured far and struggled against all sorts of stuff. But she will retire in solitude. Peace and quiet in this little hut. So thank you, everybody. To me. I had fun, hope you did. And I will see you in my life.